Back, Perry, future farmers of America and the show pigs now have a brand new home. You may remember back in November of last year, the barn on Keith Road burned to the ground, killing all 55 pigs inside. Since the fire, people from all across the country pulled together to support the students. And just a week after the fire, dozens of pigs were donated to the students. We were there as they met their new animals and prepared to start training again. People from the farm community also offered labor and materials to help with the rebuilding process. Nine months later, that new barn is complete. Sabrina Burst joins us now in studio with details on what turned out to be a great day, Sabrina. Frank Laurie, a member of the Perry FFA, says a heat lamp actually caused the fire killing all of the 55 pigs, but with community support, they were able to get that building back up and running. Trey Garbett says when it comes to these show pigs, they hog all the attention. Guiding them around, make sure their head is up and make them look good and turn them the way you need them to be turned. Garbett says the pigs won him over ever since he was in middle school. The experience, the learning, everything, and then when I first won showmanship at a local show. Bryce Rowland with the Perry FFA says he can cherish his memories even more now after a fire destroyed the barn and killed all 55 pigs in November. And it was just such a strange sight to see it not there anymore and the smoke coming up from the wreckage. And I mean, I believe all of us here were heartbroken. Rowland says that didn't stop the community from donating for a new cement facility. <laughs> Garbett says that this is just one of the items that they kept from the fire so that they could see how far they've come. We didn't stop just because of one thing. We kept going and moving on and moving forward. And that's just what they did. Roland says some of the people who came to the ribbon cutting ceremony contributed about $100,000 in donations, along with time and effort for the pigs, which are like family. His name is Donnie, and um, he's probably one of the best bears I've ever had. It was a really nice day at the, at the barn, and the pigs were just chilling out, enjoying all the attention that they could get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frank, Lori, back to you. It's a great looking facility. Thanks so much, Sabrina. Roland says around 200 people showed up to that ribbon cutting to celebrate the reopening.